Good morning. So after our really big day yesterday, <clears throat> when we got up to see the kangaroos on the beach at Cake Hillsborough, we drove all the way down through Rockhampton and Mackay to Gladstone. And we stayed in a motel last night in Gladstone. And we woke up and this morning we're having a look around Gladstone and we're at the East Shores Park and it's really beautiful. We've never been to Gladstone before, so I thought we'd have a quick look around today before we move on. And I've got to say, I'm really surprised because when you hear of Gladstone, you think of all the like commodities, don't you? You think of like coal and things like that and refineries, but there's a lot more to Gladstone than just the coal. This is the HMAS Gladstone and it was commissioned in 1984 and for 22 and a half years it did maritime operations around Australia. It was decommissioned in 2007 and gifted to the Maritime Board in Gladstone where it sits here today for everybody to see and it's just amazing to see a naval vessel up so close and in such good condition and it's free. I, I, I understand, I think they do tours and maybe there's a cost for that, but you can walk right around this on these um, platform and it's, and it's free to do and it's just amazing. It's so nice to see people walking around, especially people with babies in prams walking around, and people getting their exercise in the sunshine. This is a huge park, yeah. huge development. It's mm. fantastic for the community. Yeah. This lookout gives a great bird's eye view of Gladstone, doesn't it? What a fantastic view. And this lookout is a memorial to Bill Golding. Bill Golding lived to the age of 95 and he died in 1985. He was a former mayor, uh, chairman of the port board, a builder, a historian, and the lookout was built for him because they credit him for transforming the city of Gladstone from a village to an international port city. Don't you love it about Queensland? Doesn't matter where you are, there's always a blooming bougainvillea. We just drove 20 minutes southwest of Gladstone and we're at Lake Awunga. And isn't it beautiful? Look at the colour of the water. And it's a great place to have a picnic. They have picnic facilities. It's really pretty. Look at all the little spots you can have your picnic up there. How nice is this? Look, all these little barbecue areas. You can have an electric barbecue or you can have a wood barbecue. It's pretty cool. How good is this? All these little picnic huts. And to come here, it's free. So you can come and have a picnic or have a barbecue and they actually have wood next to all the wood barbecues or you can use the electric barbecues for free. It's amazing, look at the view. Imagine you coming here and having a picnic with the family or friends. It's beautiful. Here we are um, on the beach at Gladstone and this is a place called Tannum Sands. This is the very southern tip of the Great Barrier Reef. This is where it starts. And you might be able to see out there but there's um, tankers and cargo ships and what have you. They're moored at the moment but they'll all be heading off either overseas taking coal to China or heading down to ports of Sydney and Melbourne with cargo from China. Um, yeah, it's a very busy shipping lane all down the east coast um, of Australia and especially here in Queensland. So, um, yeah, but this might be an industrial city, but it has some beautiful areas uh, like this beach here. It's fantastic. So before we go home, We've made a quick stop at Bundaberg so we can go to Bundaberg Brewery where they make the Bundaberg ginger beer. Let's go have a look. We can fill them up with ginger beer. So here 
was just in his 20s when he created this one with his parents, and we have not changed that recipe since. What are you doing? Um, after the tour, you can select six of the different types of um, brews that they make, and um, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And, and take them home. Yeah, and take them home. It's part of the package. So you, I've got the ginger beer, I've got the spiced ginger beer, I've got the, the creamy soda. I'm thinking of getting two because creamy soda is my favourite. Um, and the lemonade but the thing about them is they're all made from fresh fruit and you can taste the fresh fruit it's fantastic it's not artificial at all yeah. i love it yeah. i'm surprised i made so many different flavors yeah me too There's i had so no many. idea yeah well i think i'm gonna double up on the uh, creamy soda good idea <laughs> they're my six but i doubled up on the spiced one and i got one ginger one and i got an apple cider one and a creamy soda one and the pineapple and coconut one that tour was so much fun so i'm so glad we did it because we all really enjoyed it and they do tours every half an hour it's 15 dollars per adult and less for children and we think it's totally worth it because they give you uh six bottles to take and you get to choose them from the 15 different flavors so if you're in bundaberg definitely worth doing and that's the bundaberg ginger beer factory tour but they also do one for the um, Bundaberg rum distillery so that's an, a different tour in a different factory of course you can also do that if you're stopping at Bundaberg but it's a quick stopover today so we're not going to do the rum thing but we're gonna go have a quick look at Bagara because it's supposed to be a really beautiful beach and we'll stop and have a look there before we head home this is Bagara foreshore look at the grass it's like a golf course it's beautiful This is such a fun thing to do. They've got a fabulous path that goes all along the foreshore at Bagara. So it's a great thing for people to do. And look at the views. The water looks fantastic. There's a lot of volcanic rock along the foreshore, but there's also um, areas set aside that have sandy beaches where you can swim. But yeah, we're having a lot of fun right now. My father was Scottish and I'm very proud of my Scottish heritage. So I was over the moon to know that one of our viewers, and that's you, Lynn, is having a birthday this week. So to Lynn in Scotland, I wish I could do something really special for your birthday. And so I came out to my garden and what I did was I picked the best rose that I could find for you. And I know you can't smell it, but it smells sensational. And it's kind of like a quadruple bunger. There's like four in one. It's just beautiful. Oh, has some, has some thorns though. But I wish I could pass it through the camera to you. But I can't do that. 
So, in a special Scottish way, and I know Scottish people are very sentimental, I wish you, the, and Paul and I both wish you the happiest of birthdays, and Lang May Alumric, and you'll know what that means. So, thank you, Lynn, and thank you, Stacey, also, for watching our videos and for letting us know about your mum. And we hope you all get together very soon. And this is just a final shout out this week. And this one is to Mia and Ben, who regularly watch our videos. You see, I bumped in and I met the lovely Mia when I was in the city this week. So it was so nice to meet you, Mia. And thank you so much, you and Ben, for watching our videos. And you know, Brisbane's such a small place, we'll probably bump into each other again one day, who knows. But thank you for letting us know that you watch our videos. I think it's only the second time that's ever happened. Um, and the other time was in Chinatown, I think, where somebody told us that they watched our videos. So that's just lovely. And I hope everybody enjoyed this week's video and we'll see you next week.